we felt compelled to make a video about Jesus because his message was gravely misunderstood. We will try to elongate this video as much as possible, but it can truly be summed up in just one sentence. Jesus' intention was to show humanity who we are and what we are capable of. Period. His message got misconstrued and people saw him as God, a part of God, or the Son of God. We are all gods and part of God or source, if that is the way you want to view it. When he said that we are all capable of doing what he did and even more, he was speaking literally, not figuratively. The so-called miracles he performed was cake compared to what we have all done and created thus far. He was trying to help us remember. He was trying to wake us up from this somewhat human dream that we are living. Let me take everyone on a trip back in time. Back to where the image of God first began. Back to how it was that man first got confused. You see, human beings are on the main stage. What I mean by that is that most non-physical beings feel most of their time observing us. They love it. They also like being recognized, but that's besides the point. By observing us, we all learn and grow from each other, together. Non-physical beings love talking to and helping us, almost like parental figures. And that is where the confusion of God, our Father, first came about. We felt that parental type connection. We saw Source as a holy and divine being that was talking to us, when in fact it was us. It was universal consciousness speaking to us. And ever since then, we have let that thought run rampant and mutate into all the world religions and images of God that we see today. Jesus came to change the image of God and of us. We all know how that went. Jesus never ever acted mightier or above us. On the contrary, he was extremely humble for he wanted us to know that we are equals. We know that thousands of years of beliefs are not going to melt away overnight. But the more people wake up from their human slumber, the faster we could rid ourselves of these stigmas. We do want you to remember one thing though. Jesus, as well as everything that has happened in history, is happening in the present and will happen in the future, are all part of our intention and all part of the perfection that we set forth that we set forth, that we intended. There are no coincidences. Everything, everything happens for a reason. Everything that is in your life at this moment is directly connected to all the decisions that you made before your transition into the physical. Decisions that you made. Not Jesus, not God, or any other being. Can you wrap your head around that? Do you understand how powerful you are? Does that make you feel a bit Jesus-like? That, right there, is exactly what Jesus wanted us to remember.
we have had eons to learn. And even though we do not know it all, and never will, most things that we do or allow are for specific reasons that us, with our human perspectives, will never fully understand. But again, that as well is our intention. Grace and everyone loves you.